Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we're going to be doing opening moves for turn 8. It's part of this sort of quick start guide. Of course we did the setup in the past, uh, in the last episode, sorry, looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the country and sort of just getting all the estates set up and, and sort of thinking out the initial moves and stuff like that. Um, turn 8 is actually kind of like an interesting country because it's so isolated and alone and it has kind of a little bit of a slow start because of that. One thing we forgot to do actually is we forgot to have our ships protect and trade in that node there and we forgot to actually assign our diplomat to build the spy network um, over to door here because we're going to want to attack to door as quickly as possible. We're building up uh, 2,000 more troops so that we can have a little bit of a troop advantage when we do engage uh, to door here. We're drilling our troops for, for a short time here but once we get up to about 13 13 spy network we're going to want to cancel that and get these guys into position for the war we we'll probably also want to bring back the ships but i think i think these ships should be making us a little bit of money there Ooh. it was kind of like bugging out on us for a second of course we have this morale advisor here uh, standing by that we can grab um oh, these guys need to be grouped up so they're drilling all together the thing is we really want to see if these guys get an alliance oh they did get an alliance oh Oh, they got an alliance with these guys. Oof. Those guys are even stronger than these guys. Yeah, this could be very, very... This can be very tricky. We're at 13 right now. Let's get these guys into position. Let's get you guys uh, back and into position here as well. We're going to need an admiral. Like, I, I, I promise they're going to have an admiral for their fleet. We're going to need an admiral. And this admiral's job is basically a 1-1-1's one, one, not great. But it's basically to scare them from, from engaging, so... Fingers crossed here. So we're going to need to come over here, engage, and then we're going to quickly have to run home as fast as humanly possible. How many ships do these guys have? If they can land, if they have more than three cogs, if they have four cogs, this could be like... Ah, uh, this could be incredibly bad. They have four cogs. I, I, I don't know. We'll have to see if this is even possible. Because what, the, what they're going to do is they're going to try to land those 4,000 dudes on our capital while we're trying to siege this out. We're going to have to have a split army here. Uh, we're definitely going to need to go up over our force limit without question. So let's build that guy now. Let's get that going. Okay, we'll attack next month. Uh, not a hundred percent. Well, hmm. Scratch that. We need to get this guy. He's going to give us 10% more morale. So we have 2.95 morale. We're going to wait till next month to engage. Again, as soon as we engage these guys, as soon as we win the battle, we have to run back as fast as possible uh, to our capital and, and just hope that it's enough to kind of like hold on. Um, when uh, when these guys here are going to be dropping troops on, on both of these provinces and we're going to have a split army here. Wait a second. Yeah, they only have they only have 4,000 dudes. But they can bring all 4,000 at a time. We're going to have a split army. Okay. Infantry combat ability. Wow, good. Now, the problem is... Oof. You guys have to frantically get back, like, ASAP. Governing reform is not a big deal right now. We haven't built any of that up. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is looking good. This is looking good. As soon as we retreat with our ships, as soon as we retreat with these ships, that means that these guys are intercepting us. Or, or that these guys will back out and then... Actually, this would be amazing if these guys just stayed... Or there's no way, right? There's no way they don't come over with their fleet. If we can get... Oh, if we can get this, like, beforehand, this would be incredible. Because then our general would be able to flip... If we can win this actual naval engagement... Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What do they have? They have a 201. How does that compare to a 111? I don't know if... Like, we always think of being shock being the most valuable, right? But is shock the most valuable for navy... Navies that have the cannons that like shoot cannons at each other. I, 
shock would be like boarding or something I, I, thematically I'm, I'm not sure oh, oh we're winning this naval engagement we're like we're winning the, the naval engagement like big time although we didn't roll very well there and even capture a ship or two that'd be incredible the thing is, if we can hammer them, repair our ships, and hammer them again, that'd be very good. Where in the world are these guys? Are we going to actually land on these dudes? Wait, are we going to be the ones that are going to land on them? Hmm. Now I'm actually thinking, can we take this province in the war? If we could, that'd be like the greatest grenade start of all time. Merchant guilds won't like us if we do that. Does that matter right this second? Clergy's going to be upset. We know that we have this in the back pocket to make the clergy happy, though. Clergy goes to taxation. Taxation's kind of important. This gives us some extra ducats. We're making a lot from trade, though. No, we're not. We'll just have to see how that goes. Yeah, their ships are pretty battered here. Okay, we did capture it. We captured a light ship. That's very good. Very good. We need to repair these ships up ASAP. I kind of want to build a cog, but it might take too long for it to actually materialize. Let's build a cog. We're going to need cogs anyways. It's going to take like, what, a full year or something crazy like that? If these guys were actually to come and try to land on us, that would be great. If they would get into a war with their neighbor, that would be like amazingly fantastic. Because then we could just sneak around and, and hopefully the combined navies would allow us to actually. Yeah, that would be that would be really incredible. If we uh, Usually we're not going to be able to get any of this land until we get uh, a colonist, right? To be able to land out here so that we can actually get close enough to make claims. But if we can actually um, take this province now, it just sets up like a whole new world of opportunity. I just don't know if it's going to be possible. They're not building troops. They're still at the 4,000 though, which is weird. But they have 15 ships. I mean, they're not going to allow us to land on them. I think they have 10. They have at least, they have like 11. They might even have a heavy. They have 11 light ships. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way they're going to let us land on them. But secondly, Trinade still has ships, right? 3-4-3 three, three with a good queen. We'll take it. Speaking of which, maybe we should actually focus on Admiral. What are we waiting for here exactly? We're just, I'm, I'm kind of surprised these guys are not trying to land on us. Kind of surprised they're not trying to land on us. I'm just wondering, can we like sneak some troops onto here? You know what I mean? And if we could just sneak these guys, like, what if we take them from here, land them there, take them over to here, and then march them around? I don't know. I mean, the AI can presumably see... If we land here, they can see us land there. I think we risk it. Ah, oh, that's pretty risky. That would be pretty dang risky. You know what? Let's, let's try. That could be really, really cool. Let's try. Let's roll. Because if we can get 8,000 dudes landed here, then it's... I mean, the, the war is over. The war is over. This could be amazing. This could be amazing. Oh, their ships are coming. Uh, sort of, kind of. What are we? What's going on? Oh, this Kutai. Kutai, who are you at war with? Kutai's at war with these guys. Interesting. You almost kind of think these guys would want to attack to, to, to take advantage of that, but they can't really do that realistically. If um, this is so good. This is so good. No way. Go back and defend our own area as best as you can. Let's roll, guys. Let's roll. 
and we're moving. This is like incredible. Uh, the bad thing is apparently we're fighting natives all along the way. Yikes. Oof, yikes. Oof, come on, come on, hold, hold, hold. We need 5,000 more men. But by golly, if we get those 5,000 men, if we get if we get them reinforced, we get military access here, we need to be able to get military access before they take it, because I don't know. Well, Kutai might give it to us, too. No, they won't. Um, uh, Kutai, do you like us? Wait, wait, here, let's make sure we're buttering up Kutai. I think it's fine, because I don't think they're going to be able to siege this that quickly. How much are we reinforcing per month? 700 per month, and we need uh, we need to reinforce four times. But now it's 600 per month. We need to reinforce like three times. Okay, it's about four, four reinforcements. Okay. And if they only have 4,000 troops, we could win with what we have. Our general's not terrible. There's not going to be any... It's also Grasslands Province. There might be a river... There'd probably be a river crossing, though. Yeah, river crossing. Okay, let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, 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 go. This is insane. I don't know why the AI played this way. This start is actually really tricky because what happens is if Tador can actually ally other nations and if their navies respond logically, and if their navies actually come over here and, and beat up beat us up and keep us pinned down, like it's actually a very touchy start. Whatever, I, I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just happened, but this is going to be a huge explosive run, um, a explosive opening here. What we're probably going to want to do is actually become uh, threatened with Kutai, and that might actually allow us to sort of chain into um, an alliance with uh, Brunei. Because Brunei really likes us. If we go threatened to Kutai, Brunei might accept the alliance. Oof, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. But this is it, guys. This is the run. This is one of the best tornado runs I think you could ever ask for. They let us do this, like, sneaky, like, I'm talking Navy SEALs over here landing on this little, like, tip of this island. And just, like, like sneaking our way in. Like, I don't know, that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. This is such an amazing province. Like, it's a grasslands province, for crying out loud. In the middle of, like, tropical, like, craziness, you know what I mean? Um, like, of areas that are hard to develop, but this one is just a beautiful place to develop. It's also got some, uh, does it, doesn't it have some, it's a level 2 trade port in the area, which is amazing. And is that the only trade port in the area that isn't uncolonized? Oh, no, there's these ones down here. Those ones down there, too. That is unbelievable. A hundred percent. Oh, no. No, we can't make it a... Can we vassalize them? We can't make it a core? We can't make it a core. I don't think you can get a colonial range guy until you get the ideas for it. What I'm thinking right now is does trade range, does trade range, does trade range give us coring range? Man, I got so giddy for like one of the greatest like starts like in the history of the game. And it turns out. Okay, we could we could vassalize them, but I, that's that's kind of like good enough, honestly. Um, that's totally not what we wanted. But uh, I think we do something like that. I I don't know. That's totally not what we wanted. 
That is totally not what we wanted. Let's butter him up. Let's butter him up. Can we act threatened towards Kutai, though? Not a potential threat? Not a potential threat? How are you doing your math over here, man? What's our force limit now? It's It's got to be higher, right? Yeah, it is higher. Ah, that is so trolly. That's still a good start, but man. That is still a good start, but that is totally not what I thought was going to happen. That is totally not what I thought was going to happen. Merchants aren't going to like us in that situation. Let's make it so the nobility doesn't like it. That, that hurts either way, though. Right there. We don't really care too much that they're disloyal. We can fix that in a jiffy. That's not a problem. Utai is our rival. That might make uh, Brunei like us more. So we can't... We, we can rival them, but we can't... Uh, yeah, that's that's that that makes sense. And Kutai as well. Come on, guys. Enemy of enemy. Let's go. Let's go over here. Prestige is actually kind of important because it does. it is one of the ways that we can actually stomp out this lack of liberty desire by placating the local rulers. Man, still an amazing start. Um... Will it let us fabricate a claim here? There's no possible neighboring provinces to fabricate a claim on. Okay, well, what we do is we tell these guys, hey, get a claim on that and get a claim on that. And get a claim on... Uh, eh, well, if you get a claim down there, I guess you get a claim on there. I'm not going to worry about making these guys upset right now because we might end up allying one of them. I'm not going to be able to attack them anytime soon, so... So we can't go threatened because they're they're not strong enough apparently. I mean, we can attack Kutai ourselves apparently too. So I don't know. We got options here now. Let's just keep everybody in the region happy. Sunda's getting actually Sunda's getting beat up by um, Palembang. Palembang, the little pirate republic down here. Do they actually go pirate republic? They do pirate confederacy. There you go. So we're making money. Which feels good. Brunei wants the alliance now. That's a cha-ching. Let's get the royal marriage to lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. Interesting that their only rival is... Um, is these guys here. It's their only rival right now. Wait, is that what it said? Oh, besides, besides Kutai, yeah. So we could technically ally these guys because they don't seem to be upset. I mean, that's the royal marriage right there. It, it's it's going to be very difficult to just attack these guys, so we might as well ally them. I mean, if they if they call us into a war against Kutai and promise us land or something, that could be really nice. And Brunei probably doesn't want any of this land here. Actually, they want it all. Brunei wants it all. The AI apparently wants it all, so it is what it is. Very close to them wanting to accept this. Did we get them bumped up a bit more? Not really. Trustworthy allies is something we could go for. It's going to be 10 years and we can integrate this nation. That could be one uh, sort of strategy for expansion is just integrating them quickly. But if they get a claim on, on this little nation down here, it's going to be a done deal. They get a little claim on Bhutan. I think we just attack. I don't think there's a, we don't have to worry about any fanfare here. We could promise Brunei land and have Brunei just come down and just wreck Kutai and also get their navy involved. They have a heavy ship. And we'd have a complete naval dominance with our own um, subject and everything. Oh man, that's that's tempting right there. Brunei would expect land though. 
Brunei would expect land. Realistically, we don't even really need them to, to help in that. Who are you guys allied with specifically in this up here? Adyaz? Adyaz. They have 2,000 troops and 11 ships. It's not much. We have, uh, we have, we have basically like 20 ships. Wait, Kutai has a heavy. Mm hmm. Have their own heavy. Uh, who do, do they have a, um, they have eight lights and a heavy. Heavy's a little scary. It's a little scary. These guys have no allies. This would be, this would be a done deal. If we could just attack these guys. And the thing is, I think if we attack these guys, I think we could take the land for ourselves. I think we have the range to actually get to there, especially... Oh, you know what? Mm. Yeah, there was no way to get uh, Turdor out. I don't know if, like, since this is all one sea tile, I don't know if that actually gives us more range, having that province or not. But, you know, even if these guys had the claim to attack here and we took it for ourselves, that would at least get us, like, in the game over here. And it would get us bouncing around over here. We don't even have to... We just need to cost us belly against these guys. Come on, man. Come on. You can do it. Why are you buttering these guys up? I need you making claims. I need you fabricating claims. No renaissance is a thing right now. 2%. I think we're going to get these tech ups. Well, you know, get a tech for military tech four is incredibly important. Tech five is pretty important too. I think we're going to do that though. And now it's kind of like, okay, we can either race for, um, for this technology here. How do they go from a plus 5 to a plus 10? Someone had it, but they lost it. Oh, actually, I, I think it was just the old neighbor bonus was stacked on, which it shouldn't have been there. Oriat's doing something over there. Are they capitulating to me? Oh, no, they're just attacking me. It's just that, that war is now commencing. That's actually quite a large war. Ming, I don't know. Ming's mandate, they're not getting any benefits from it. That's multiple horde nations here. That's actually going to be a little bit trickier than I think it appears for me, to be honest. Is that Or is that one unified war? That is one unified war. Ming should win it, but still. Might surprise us. I didn't want this to be too long of, a, of an intro here. This is a very incredibly powerful start here. But... I mean, they got a claim on you. Can't you get a claim on them, buddy? Come on. Think this through, dude. Think this through. See, this gives us the colonial... Oh, that's trade range again. That's multiple trade ranges. I think colonial range is your ability to core something, I'm pretty sure. See, we can core Bhutan, but we can't core uh, Mascara... Mas Masca... Mascasar. Hmm. We need to see if our ally is going to be smart enough to get the claim here. They got the other claim pretty quickly after we marked it. It's like, this is, this is your sole job right here, dude. Come on. What we could do is we could say these guys are not an interest to us anymore. That will double down their efforts to focus on that, maybe. Oh, there we go. They got it. They got it. Here we go. What a run. What a run, guys. What a run. Let's get these guys over here. I'm going to have to attack two groups of natives on the way on the march, but... Yeah, it'll be fine. What's uh, Manpower is not particularly valuable right now, just in the basis that we're not going to be... The, the frequency of the wars is going to be pretty low. Um, we need a renaissance, and we also need... Uh, expansion ideas and we just need money to be able to afford expansion ideas and, and stuff and things so it's 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 going to be a slow go I mean this is a little bit the fact that we're actually getting these opportunities here you could play Ternate and you don't get this opportunity next thing you know uh, you're going to be twiddling your thumbs for 20 years not in a bad way but just in like that's that's the build up to the game you know I mean you could do like an OCB war or something but I, I like the fact that we're I like what we're doing I like what we're doing here and how it's going here Oh, wait a second. 
Wait a second, I just realized we have an issue here. It's the opinion of you guys. Friendly. Yep, I just realized we have a issue. And that is... We, we don't have military access with, with these guys. Let's just attack them. They only have 2,000 troops. I'm not worried about them. We might have to do a, a landing on them, but... Or they get an ally or something. Oof. Help, 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 help. Yo, Vassal, can you get in there, man, and support, dude? Can you support... Get in there. Okay. We might lose a ship or two here. Because of their incompetence. What did we lose? Uh, we stole a cog. Nice. We didn't lose anything. We stole a cog. Kutai, I think you like these guys, so you're not going to give us military access. No, but you might give it to our vassal or something. I, I don't know. Let's bring these guys back home. They're only going to have max 3,000 troops, so we should be able to land five. You know, I've always wondered if cavalry are, like, worse at landings. I don't think so, but it sure makes sense, doesn't it? Ooh, dang, our vassal's going in first. I don't know if those 2,000 dudes are going to do much. I mean, do you have... Um, what do you have on those guys? What's what's your general? Yeah, I don't know if I like our subjects' uh, sort of Rambo play here. But at least they'll soften them up a touch and maybe burn their morale just a, just a scooch. And then we'll come in. Or we'll actually be able to reinforce his battle. Uh, we just don't want to same day it. We want him to either lose or, or we want him to hold out. Okay, he's lost. Fine. He's going to retreat back. That's fine. We should be able to win this. Two to one. Two to one odds here. There you go, guys. There you go. And Brunei doesn't like Kutai. Brunei doesn't like Kutai. Uh, we're going to easily be able to attack Kutai. Kutai doesn't really have any uh, meaningful alliances. We can pro promise Brunei land. We could take a bunch of stuff here. More valuable stuff is on this end. Um, I mean, I don't know. Either way, you dish it out here. I think I think we have a good option of expansion once we've taken Kutai. I, I think, honestly, we maybe even reject Brunei. Brunei is relatively powerful. But I think in the future war against Kutai, maybe we backstab um, Brunei a little bit. We don't give them land. Dang, we could full annex Kutai in a single war. In a single war. Think about that. Think about that. Insane. Insane. But you know, uh, that we could we could essentially have all of this conquered before like a typical person would even get off the ground with with uh, Ternate. That's that's kind of nuts. I, I do want to go back and, and make sure we're we're getting these guys actually uh, repaired up. I don't want them engaging these ships. I like the fact that we've stolen some ships, though. What's our actual... Yeah, naval fleet limit there. Nice, nice. Bhutan... Oh, they're attacking Bhutan as well. So these guys are attacking Bhutan. It's a little bit too late, guys. A little bit too little too late for uh, Kutai here. So Kutai is just taking advantage of the fact that we've already uh, we've already appeared. I do want to get our own ships over here just to be able to engage though once this is done. And you can attach to us if you want. Looks like a few ships might have been captured. A light and a cog. Nice. Oh, I like that. That's good. That's very good. And the war is over. What a start. You know what? I'm realizing that... Oh, no. I guess it wasn't possible. Oh, well, we could have done it separately. We should have humiliated Ternate. Can you humiliate Ternate if you if you pull annex them? I don't even know if that's actually an option. Okay, that'll get us done there. I don't know if we're gonna have two subjects or not in this room, to be honest. Um 
There we go, guys. There we go. That's turn eight. That's starting this turn eight. That's pretty good. 1455, 11 years into the game. We've we've already like have a we have a, a, a opportunity of conquest here. But we took this for ourselves, right? We didn't do something, we didn't make a mistake here. Yeah, we did take that for ourselves. So we did pay a little bit of inefficiency for that, right? Because this we were using this guy's claim as the justification for the war. We took it for ourselves. Uh, now we can get our own claims on on these guys here and start bouncing up here, which is gonna be fantastic. Yep, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So uh, turn eight, that's opening moves for turn eight. That, I'll admit that's a little bit of an inflated start, uh, but still really, really neat to see. Uh, Ming's actually doing quite well. Holy cow, they've methodically sieged out Mongolia and, and most of the Oriat, so no issues there for me. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this episode. If you guys have questions about uh, EU4 or turn eight or these uh, videos that we're doing for the the opening moves and um, sort of a little get start getting started walkthroughs and stuff for these countries um, let me know in the comments and, and we'll make sure to answer those questions and the next one we'll probably end up doing the third nation that we played on the twitch channel which i'm actually failing to remember what it is but I, what i want to do is i'm wanting to go back and do uh, swat analysis and opening moves videos for all of the nations that we already have experience playing entire campaigns for. So little quick start guides for all the nations that we have already done full campaigns for on the uh, on the Twitch channel and have um, timeline and final thoughts videos for on the YouTube channel. So you can go to the, the timeline and final thoughts playlist on the YouTube channel in the playlist section and see all of the runs that we've already accomplished and, and where we give commentary and thought about the run overall on a, on a macro sense. And then we also have the playlist down below for all the SWOT analysis videos um and opening moves videos where we do a but we've done a bunch of nations we've done random nations we've done beginner nations we've done uh, a lot of the runs that we've done for the for the twitch channel and so on and so forth so so there you go uh, thanks everybody for being here and watching i'll see you guys in the next one